I'm so excited to be part of the New Life Expo this weekend. I'm going to be on on Sunday. So we're not in person this time, we're not in New York. However, now we're virtual, so we're all over the world. And so no matter where you are, you can enjoy us in your living room. And there's gonna be a lot of different speakers. I'm gonna be on a panel, but I'm also going to be talking about cords and energy blocks. So if you are experiencing blocks in your life, whether it's love life, whether it's your abundance, um, whether it's some other kind of career issue or whatever it is, it could be that you've got a cord or you've got a block, an energy block. And so we create these cords that we have with people, these relationships, and that's with family, with, with romantic relationships, with business relationships and even friends. We create good, positive cords, but we also create some negative ones. And you can't see these with the naked eye, but I can teach you how to see if you have those and to be able to feel those and to be, be able to feel the, the triggers and to be able to release those. So if you're having a block in relationships, it might be because you've still got old cords that you need to cut away. If you've got a difficult relationship with a family member, it might be that you've got some of these negative cords. So I'm gonna teach you how to cut away the negative cords that leave the positive ones. We also have energy blocks that we set up. So let's say you have difficulties with finances. It might be that you have created this, and we all have got some blocks and some cords. So you may have created this, it could be from something that you learned when you were younger, it could be from some experience that you have, but we basically put up a block, an energy wall. So we think that we're doing everything right, we think that we are attracting what it is that we'd like to have in our life, we feel that we're doing all the right things, but for some reason it's just not happening or it happens to a certain extent, but we can never get beyond that. And so often that is an energy block that we've set up. And so I'm gonna show you how to look at those energy blocks. You can see them on yourself, but also on clients. So if you're teaching Reiki, you're doing some kind of energy work, this is great to be able to learn how to be able to see energy blocks on cords also on your clients so that you can dissolve those, get rid of those. And let's, let's get rid of those permanently because they do grow back they can come back in your life and so you need to learn how to not only find them and dissolve them but let's get rid of them permanently so that you can start to manifest all the beautiful things in your life including good health because a lot of these blocks and these cords can cause us physical issues and physical pain and that's why when you remove some of these things you might think it's like this miraculous change. I mean, people have had health issues that are suddenly miraculously healed or issues in their life that are suddenly changed. And that's because it's simply a block, it's simply an energy. And once you lift it, it's like that. 